Hello everyone, this is Reza from Redicat and today I'm going to talk about why you see this error. Contact your admin to enable embed code creation when you use publish to web and how you can get it resolved. Let's see how it works. If you use Power BI, you know that there are different ways of sharing a Power BI report. One of those ways is Publish to Web. Uh, Publish to Web is an option that when you are in the Power BI service, in the website, when you are in a report, you can click here and say Embed. Under Embed, you'll see Publish to Web. This is a new look in the old look. It's a little bit different um, in a different position, but still it is called Publish to Web. Publish to Web will create an embed code, an embed link that you can uh, share it with anyone freely. Uh, that is the only free, free method of sharing. I've created a um, video about that. Go and check that uh, video. Uh, the only free way of sharing Power BI report. However, this method of sharing is not secure. That means that if I share this report with you and you share it with someone else, that person will also have access to this without me knowing it, right? Everyone would be able to access it through that link or embed code. Now, because of this specific feature, um, uh, recently by default, the configuration, the admin configuration of this option is disabled. Previously, there was a configuration option as well, but it was not uh, disabled. By default, it was enabled. And now it is disabled by default. Um, so how you can get this fixed? First, you need to find your tenant admin. Usually this is the Office 365 admin of your account, of your um, tenant. Uh, that tenant admin can go to the setting, to admin portal. Under that, under tenant settings, this is the area that um, tenant admin has access to. Uh, there's a publish to web section here that by default uh, the option that is enabled is only allow it uh, for the existing code. That means for the new report, no one can create embed code for those new reports unless you go and select this one or let's say your admin go and select this one which says allows existing and new codes. And if you do that, um, then you can choose who you want this to be applied to. Do you want this to be for the entire organization? I would... Um, um, use this really carefully because uh, you should only use it for those people who know what they are doing. You can say to a specific security group or to everyone but this specific security group, right? You can choose whatever you want here and apply it and after that you should be able to use that um, that ability to uh, use publish to web really easily but again remember that this option is uh, not for confidential data. If you want to use Power BI sharing for confidential data, organizational data, then I would recommend using other methods of sharing. Go and check my uh, blog post link down in the description below to find out more about that. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.